picture packages. So I have two images here, a before and after. And keep in mind, you know, this is probably going to be on the actual assignment. So I'm showing you how to do this. From um, here out, I want a before and after shot. This is my before shot. And you can see it's, it's well overexposed. And I don't have to open it in Photoshop. I can actually zoom in on it. But I did this, this in Photoshop. I repaired it in Photoshop. So you can see the before and after. It's the same picture. It's just the exposure is fixed on it. And it's sharpened quite a bit. So by saving these in a folder somewhere on my computer. Let's say I showed you that on my desktop I have this folder. It's called Lesson Example and in it I've saved two pictures. If I highlight both pictures and go to output, what I can do is go in here and choose to output this side by side. And how I do that is very quickly what I do is hit this green button so it maximizes this. And there's templates. Let's say there's a 2 by 2 template that's set up. And I can go in here and say, well, I want the quality at 100%. And I want to do use auto spacing. Okay, the rest of this stuff, not really important, but um, you know, you could put a header in there and put your name if you wanted to. But what I really want to do is just hit refresh preview. So this is what I have now. And notice I named the files before one, after one. Okay, so that's what you're going to have to do to do this, this part. Is I saved it as before one and after one. So I had to definitely be organized for that. I had to save it within a folder, be very organized, and to kind of look at that workflow if you want to see it you know I was in essentials before um, I was on my desktop I was in curriculum Photoshop photo lessons and then I had this one NEF file if I want to reset this back to normal I could I could right click on it and I say develop settings camera raw defaults so now it reverts it back to default and I can open it up just as it is and this would be my before shot so I would make sure I save this in a folder doesn't matter what folder it is because actually I'm asking for the PDF in the end but here's before one I name it before one kept with a capital B and then I would open it again and this time when I open it I fix something okay so I fix the exposure I make it crisp I go in here to the sharpening and sharpen it I maybe tweak with the colors a little bit and when I open it I'm going to save it within that folder as bef after one. So one and one match. Sorry, I have to do this, but if I do not do this, there's somebody that's going to ask the question, what do I do next? So I have to always go through the entire thing. There we go. And it says could not save because something's open already. And that is open. So now on my desktop, I have this new folder called Lesson Example. It was there before. And I have two pictures. And then I can go to Output. And that's when I started to go Refresh Preview. So that's the whole entire workflow. And what's really nice is I can have before and after two and three and four, et cetera, and so forth. And when I get done, I can go down here, hit save, and it's going to ask me to save somewhere. Well, where do I want to save? I want to save it on the desktop. 
under lesson example and call it contact. So now in that folder on my desktop, I have this new thing called contact. And if I open it up in Adobe Acrobat Pro, it looks a lot like this. So that's a great way to see what you did and how you fixed a picture for me as a teacher and for you as a portfolio. Okay, So that's the workflow for a contact sheet. Please move on to the next video.